Okay, back in Nehemiah 8. We're in verse 9 now. Nehemiah 8, verse 9. In Nehemiah, which is the Teshava. What does the word Teshatha mean? Teshatha. Who remembers the Kai? Yes, correct. Governor, write that down. It might be on a test. This is Teshatha. Hmm. Come on. In Nehemiah, which is the Teshatha, in Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. So from the beginning, the holidays of the Most High, His high holy days, are meant to be days of what, Josiah? Days of gladness. J days of gladness, thank you. Days of gladness. Not sorrow, not depression. So if y'all wake up with that depressed, over-emotional spirit, shake it off. I can't, I can't stand a depressed spirit. Now, I know once in a while we go through things, but let's talk about it. And let's get over it and move on. Because if you can't change the situation, give me that scripture, casting all your care. Find me that. That's what I want. Casting all your care. Let's get that. For you depressed, over-emotional people, especially some of you sisters. 1 Peter 5, verse 7. <laughs> Casting all your care upon him. Casting all your care upon who? Upon him. Why? For he careth for you. For he what? For he careth for you. Right. Read it again. Let's let that sink in. Casting all your care upon him. You got, when you got a situation you're going through, the Bible instructs all of us, cast your care upon him. For he careth for you. All right. So you pray about it. Ask the Most High to, to whatever it is to help you with it, deliver you from it, and then leave it alone. Wash your face, smile, show your teeth, and walk on. Don't sit around moping. Then you want to get around somebody else and pull them into your sandbox. You know how bad life is for me. You don't understand. What I, I don't care what you're going through. I'm going to hear it, then I'm going to say, cast all your care upon him. And I'm going to smile and keep it moving. That's how we got to be. There was a brother, you might remember this guy, I can call his name. He used to come around, that's always depressed. We said, bro, come on, stop. We, we hear the same problem day after day, week after week, stop it. Sure, if something's that bad, we gonna mourn with you, that's our job. But then after that, you can't change it? Listen, the Bible says rejoice in tribulations, okay? Let's move on. Let's move on. If you can fix it, fix it. If it's a rent problem, that can be fixed if it's a rent problem. Look at all these people up in here. That can be helped. Give a brother a call. We can help that. But now, if it's so, even if it's sickness, the scriptures tell us to do what in James? Perfect prayer the righteous. Now, come on, come on, come on. Perfect prayer the righteous. We're going to pray for you, anoint you, and pray for you. After that, that's all we can do. We can't reach in and pull out the problem. Okay? What else? What's some of, this, some of these other things? Hmm. These old, over-emotional people up in here. They're sitting around looking at you, screw face. They ain't glad to see you. Watch, this is how we gotta be. And we're coming back to Nehemiah. For all you problematic brothers and sisters. You know what I'm going through? Hmm. Oh. Here you go. Psalms 122 and 1. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Why are we glad? Because we get around other brothers and sisters that are zealous for this truth, that love the Most High, that believe like we believe, who have the same understanding of the promises, who wait for the promises and have that hope of deliverance. Read it again. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Come on. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Bezalel. Well, 181 is 119, uh, 74. 119 verse what verse? 74. 74. Okay, let's get that one. Psalms 119 verse 74. Psalms 119 verse 74. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hope in thy word. Read it again. 
They that fear thee will be glad when they see me because I have hope in, in thy word. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad when I see y'all. <coughs> Read it again, this is why. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me. When I see y'all, I'm glad when I see y'all because I know y'all fear the Lord. So I'm happy. I, you will never catch me depressed. That'll be a rarity. I tell you, at my mama's funeral, I let my son cry for five minutes. I said, you got five minutes. Go. I, we had, I had to go to the eulogy. My mother didn't repent. Five minutes went by, I said, stop. That's it, that's it. That's it. Scriptures tell you, give me that one, Ecclesiastes, about sorrow. What? No, no, the one about what well, has killed many. Yes, I would be. Oh. My son don't even remember his grandmama now. I'm like, what's whose grandma? Because he was around two or three when she passed. Let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, stop. And you people online. Always sad about something. If it's financial, we can help it. If Lord Lord's will, if it ain't too exuberant. If some of you brothers are depressed because you ain't got Jordans, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Please ask us 30 verse 20 verse 21. Give not over thy mind. To heaviness. Give not over thy mind to heaviness. Give me another word for heaviness, Ezekiel. Depression. Depression. Sorrow. Worry. Come on. And afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. And afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. Because you sit back and think, well, if I had done this, this, well, you didn't, you obviously didn't do that. <laughs> so don't afflict yourself now. You got to try to correct where you're at. You can't sit back and go, well, if I paid this last week or done this two months ago, I wouldn't be sitting in the dark. <laughs> the rest would be on. <laughs> Read it again. Uh, afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. The gladness of the heart is the life of man. Gladness of the heart is life of man. Come on. And the dreadfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Mm -hmm. Love thine own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee. Remove sorrow far from thee. Go ahead. For sorrow hath killed many. Sorrow hath killed many. You sitting around sorrowful, you signing your, you, you, you want yourself in an early grave. 23 years old, drop dead. Aneurysm, heart attack. Vessel popped in the brain, why? Cause he or she, yes I wish I was in school. I don't have, if you ain't got money for school now, so what? Wait for it. There's a lot of things people get depressed for. Some of y'all used to be bodybuilders. Now you're like 400 pounds and you're depressed. Some of you sisters used to be baby. Now you. <laughs> Listen, all that can be fixed. Why sit around and cry about it? I used to have a washboard. I ain't got it now. I got a little pot belly, but I ain't sitting around sorry, crying for it. I just look in the mirror. Suck it in and say, one day. <laughs> Soon, I'm gonna get in shape. And that's what I, I tell Shem, I said, listen, all the, th like, the thing y'all self setting up, that's gonna help me. I need, I need other people with me to get in shape, do that jogging around the corner. I said, I'm gonna start small, because I'm, I'm up in age. I ain't 25 no more. I said, I'll jog half a block, I'll start there. Next week I'll do another block and a half. So I get around the corner. <laughs> and, I'm, I, and I keep it going. But I ain't gonna sit around sad and sorrow <laughs> looking at the brothers that's in shape or, or, or covetous and envious. Look, he think he's something. I ain't got that mindset. That side of the room get like that. Look at her. Look at her. If well, look and do something about the way you look. Okay? And if it's a teeth problem, I'll go to the dentist. <laughs> I had these big teeth on my life, I don't give a hoot. <laughs> what you gonna say? I was making a point about, you see brothers that are in better shape than you, you don't get angry and, and, and upset with them. You, you use that as, 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 a, uh, as an inspiration. Right, there you go. Ask them how they do it. Exactly. Use how can I change my eating diet? Remember I used to ask you that, Dr. Asa? I, Give me a plan that I, I ain't got a problem with. I don't want to ask him because he better than me. No, help me. Help me. 
That's what we. That's why we're here with each other. Right. Help one another. Um, when I used to when I used to go to the gym, you had the haters standing around. But I went to the brothers that knew what they were doing, and I asked questions. Most of the time, they're more than happy to tell you what they eat, what they do, instead of you hating on them and never changing your situation. <laughs> You know, Which is the way it works. Exactly. You know the reason why they were happy to to uh, to show you that because most of the people were just sitting around hating them. Exactly. They very seldom get somebody that would actually say, "Listen, you're in the position where I want to be." That's right. They very seldom get that. Y'all was up, hit it on the nose. They were they took pride in the fact that I felt that they looked that I was impressed by the way that they looked. That I stepped out of my hatred and said, "Brother, how do you how do I get to where you're at?" Okay, so they were happy to speak because like Y'all was up just said They used to brother just looking at him saying That nigga's on steroids, son <laughs> <laughs> You know? So all these, these little things we gotta come out of that depressed spirit Okay? Sisters get depressed because they say always same, depressed same, same example Their hair My hair don't grow but that much So what? Make that much look nice there was a model named, I don't know how, how many of her name was Shumba. She had that much and that girl was gorgeous. You could not tell her she didn't look good. She was fabulous. And she kept that little bit she had, her hair she had, nice. Girl was tight. She had, she said, this is all I got. I got to work with what I got. Elder, yeah. it's, it's called confidence. There you go. That's confidence. Exactly what I was about to Cause say. Because most of the sisters, they beautiful with the short hair or whatever. But what the elder's saying is, she already looked in the mirror and she said, I'm going to make it look good. That's right. So when you see her, you believe it looks good. <laughs> okay? And a lot of sisters don't have that. What comes quick out of them is hatred. Right. I hate her. She thinks she's all that. Exactly. That's the first thing you're going to see. But you'll see some sisters that don't look good, but that confidence makes them beautiful. Yeah, right. exactly. Exactly. But I'm going to go further than that. You said they don't, they do look good. Because of the confidence, because of the confidence, the confidence make them beautiful. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't exactly. understand it, but I'm dead serious. There you go. That's why I don't know. I know some of you brothers. Y'all seen? Don't no don't, don't mind, nobody get mad. You have seen some brothers. They be in shape, and you be like, yo, this this dude look like uh, from the magazine. But when you check out his girl, it's like, whoa, how did that? Mm. <laughs> Something don't mix right with them two. He should have been with somebody that went, Ow! but he got that. <laughs> she said all the right things. She did all, she said the right thing. She had she had that confidence. She said, I'm gonna get him. She had that confidence, she said the right thing, she was always in his ear to find brother said, you know what? This woman right here got to be with me. And he liked that. I know y'all seen it out in the world. Y'all seen that, right? I know I seen it. What the hell is this? <laughs> Brother Sam, I don't know what you're talking about. Beautiful. <laughs> and she could throw it in the kitchen. Exactly. Exactly. Now where well, was we at? You yeah. got those big dudes who don't look good. They got the most beautiful woman. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Biggie Smalls. Whoa. All the most good looking women around, but that was because of money. That dude wicked as hell. <laughs> Where you at? Where we at? Ecclesiastes 30. Did you finish that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go down to 25. Ecclesiastes 30, verse 23. Alright. Love thine own soul. Love thine own soul. That's the first thing. When Christ said, love your neighbor as you love yourself, you know why there's so many haters out there? They don't love themselves. They wake up angry at their situation or the way they look. And both of them things can be fixed and changed. Just give it some time. Read it again. Love thine own soul and comfort thy heart. And comfort thy heart. Come on. Remove sorrow far from thee. Mm -hmm. For sorrow hath killed many. Sorrow hath killed many. And there is no profit therein. Come on. Envy and wrath shorten the life. Envy and wrath shorten the life. So envy is that jealous spirit. Wrath is that angry spirit. It shortens. God says it shortens the life. Come on. And carefulness bringeth age. That word carefulness means worry. Worry. Read that again. And carefulness bringeth age before the time. Some of y'all 25 years old look like you're 45. What the hell is this? Cause of carefulness. Worry. Depression. Come on. 
A triple and Goodhart will have a care of his meat and diet. Right. Now, what's that sister's name? Um, Nancy. Nancy. It's a singer. Older lady. Nancy Wilson. Nancy Wilson. Gorgeous. I don't know how many of y'all know the woman. Oh, man. Yeah. Up in age. She about late 60s, maybe. Her. Silver hair. She, she didn't sit around dying her hair. She's still pretty. That woman is lovely. She played on the Cosby. She was Bill Cosby's mama. Y'all can Google her. The woman is fantastic. She, she ain't sitting around trying to look. She don't try to look young. She look her age, and she's fabulous. Fabulous to look at. I'd be like, whoa, that woman is up in age, but she's gorgeous. You know? The scriptures talk about age and all that. About being beautiful. Read that again. We in Ecclesiasticus 30, 30 verse 25. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. Read it again. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. A, a cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat. And you know why it says that? Why do a lot of heavy set people eat? Depressed. Depressed. They sad about something. Just sit around and eat corn chips, <laughs> french fries. Just. The poor God say, read that again. A cheerful and good heart. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You're going to be considerate about what you're eating. That's how we're supposed to be. So now reading this, this is how we're supposed to be. Let's have a care of our meat and our diet. And brothers, that's going to help us with our pot bellies here. Right, Josiah? It's going to help us. They call it, uh, stand up, stand up and talk. <laughs> they call it comfort food. Comfort food. Comfort food. Okay. Southern food, the fried chicken and all that. That's right. It's called comfort food. Comfort food. Yeah. Whatever food make you feel good. Whatever food make you feel good. So now, what I'm talking about is not meant to piss nobody off, but it's meant to encourage us, cheer us up, and motivate us to get in the right frame of mind. Okay. Elder. It goes back to what you said when you first started the conversation about he said he's happy when he comes around us. It's the same thing with the working out. Right. You gotta surround yourself with people who have that same mindset because right. it inspires you. Right. When you got brothers in your circle that's like that, that care, the same thing with the depression. If you put two people around that's always mobile. <laughs> All right? But there's certain brothers when you come around and y'all know who y'all, where as soon as you come into that presence with them, you're vibing, you're throwing ideas off each other, and everything look like it's gonna be all right. That's right. But some of you will look for that person that will just listen to you and rub your back and tell you everything you wanna hear, except what the elder's telling you. Shut up, I don't wanna talk about this no more. You're making me sick. Okay? Sometimes that's what you need. Exactly, exactly right. Where was we at I thought in Nehemiah? Nine. Nehemiah chapter eight and verse nine. Nehemiah eight verse nine. And Nehemiah, which is the Tershabba, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is solely unto the Lord your God. Mourn not nor weep. Mourn not nor weep. Go ahead. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. So in the high holy day, Nehemiah said, Don't mourn on this day. And don't weep on this day. Why? Give me that in Deuteronomy 28, 47. Right. Very important. The Most High don't like that sad, depressed spirit. He don't like that. And here's the proof of it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Stop. So that's why we had to serve our enemies. Because we did not serve the Lord our God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. That's one of the curses that came upon us. So in our repenting, we got to change up. That's why Christ said, we must what? Born be born again. We got to get our thoughts changed. Our mental faculties in conjunction with what this Bible is saying. We got to pray and get that spirit of joy and gladness. 
sitting around like a mope. I like that word, Asaph. Yeah. A mope. Two mopes together equal what? A, a big mope. A puddle of mopes. A mope. <laughs> And it's a spirit and it'll spread. Yeah. There's certain people you go around and they make you depressed. <laughs> you just don't want to be around. That's the truth. Okay? Misery exactly. loves company. Yeah, misery loves company. Thank you. Back in Nehemiah 8, where we at? Verse 10. Verse 10. Nehemiah 8, verse 10. And he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry. Neither be ye sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. You hear that? Meaning we can accomplish any goals we set our sights on. But we got to have the joy of the Lord. You got all these books out there about self-help, positive thinking. If you were to be in a situation, they say, cut out, let's say, give me something. What is it, Dianetics? No, yeah, something like that. Give me an occupation. Motivational mm. speaking? Huh? It's like that. Let's say you want to be a, let's say you want a new car. You want a particular car. These self-help, positive thinking things say, cut out the car, oh, yeah. paste it on the wall, yeah. and look at it every day. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't going to do nothing if, read that bottom precept again. Neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The most high must come into play. You gotta have that joy. The Most High must be in the equation. You can have all the positive thinking you want. That ain't gonna get you the blessings. Okay? They say, cut your head off. You got a body you don't like. Cut your head off, get a picture. You cut your face out. Put it on the body you like. And sit there and look at it. You can look at that all you want. If you don't jog, you don't change your diet, that ain't gonna help you. You can look at that photo if you want. 